crew, this is me, Seabreeze. I'm in the back seat right now. We're at the truck stop in um, Fort Wayne. I just drove all the way up here. I think I drove like uh, 25 to 30 miles. The guy said I did good. He said I should pass the road test with no problem. There's a few things I still got to brush up on, but everything was good. Uh, that was my second time on the road, ever driving the big rig. Uh, we was doing it about, I think I got her up to about 65 miles an hour on there. And um, I was feeling comfortable. I was getting into my mood. I wanted to turn the uh, radio on. But of course the instructor be sitting right there. And I'm new at this, so that ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? But I did do my thing, fellas. Uh, we at the truck stop. I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's where we at. And uh, first time ever at a truck stop. And we doing, we, I'm doing my thing, I guarantee you. Nobody wanted to drive first, and you know me, I hop right up here like there ain't no tomorrow. Because this is what I'm doing. This is just what the truck is looking like. I'm going to get out so we can videotape around and uh, see what it looked like on the outside. Then we're going to get back up in here. Like I said again, guys, once again, we're in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is Sea Breeze. We at uh, C1 Truck, truck Driving School. I got to put two hands on here to get down the right way, so bear with me. So I'm outside the truck. We're at the truck stop around here in Fort Wayne, y'all. Gotta take a look. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. This is the rig right here. I just got out of. Drove it all the way up here about 25, 30 miles. Uh, shifting was good going up. Coming down was a little rough. But he says no problem, a little practice. I should have that all uh, worked out. It's my first time, second time on the road. And uh, did my thing. Let's see what they got all up in here. You can wash your windshields uh, and everything like that. You know what I mean? Get the gas. A whole bunch of trucks going on. Once again, y'all, the Sea Breeze. We at Fort Wayne, C1 Truck Driving School. And I just drove this big rig. There it is. So, um, I'm going to head back over this way. I'm going to try to get me a cigarette in before they get out here. But I can't smoke over here. You know how it is with gas. That's what the gas thing looks like right there. It ain't like the regular gas station where it's showing me it's all diesel. I guess they turned it on from the inside. I ain't got that far. I don't know how they doing it. But uh, that's what that is, y'all. All kind of trucks up here and everything like that. I don't want to go inside because you may not be able to have a camera. But there it is, y'all. C1 Truck Driving School, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Sea Breeze. I'm on my mission. I'm trying to get this classic to take back home to New York so I can get on the road and make that big time money. That's what I'm trying to do. Once again, y'all, I'm getting back in the truck. Woo, it's cold out there. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. That's what my driving view looked like. I wanted to keep the camera right here where I was driving, but Lord knows, you know that ain't gonna happen. I'm new to this, but I'm getting true to this. Woo, let's see what's going on. We got the heat on. All kind of switches. Look at them. It's my dash, digital dash. When I first started driving, it was 4515, and right now it's 4542. So y'all do the math on how many miles I drove up here. Y'all do the math, there it is. See, it's a 452. When I started, it said 4515. That's what it says. Do the math, do the math. Let's see how much gas we got in here. Let me get my hands up out of the way. Gas looking good, we got enough. I don't know who driving next. My air pressure's up. There's the gauge is over here. We got a water temperature gauge right there. Normal range is 170 to 210. I'm a uh, volts, I should be between 12 and 14 volts. I'm a oil, it registers within three to five seconds when my engine was turned on. Normal operation mode is 25 to 50 PSI is when my warning light goes out. Yeah. Y'all don't want me to start doing a pre-trip up in here because I'm going to tear it up. To go, my seat belt is mounted securely. Let me make sure it latches. It latches perfect, perfectly. There it is right there. We got my fire extinguisher. It's around here somewhere. It's a minimum of 10 BC. It's fully charged and it's mounted securely. I got three red rectangular triangles mounted securely. I got my uh, spare fuse for my base electrical system. Uh, we got my shifter right here. My shifter right there. It engages and disengages. Uh, my clutch engages and disengages normally like you're supposed to. Yeah, we're going to do the end cab, y'all. We're not going to do it. 
my heater and my blow motor is working, I guarantee you, because I feel the heat. Mm -hmm. My le left turn indicator light's working. Look at them now. My right turn indicator light is working. Uh huh. There go my four way flashes indicator light is working. Uh huh. My high beam indicator light is working when my lights is turned down first. My windshield is not cracked, damaged, or broken. It's clean and free of all obstructions. We got my side mirrors that are not cracked, damaged, or broken. They're properly adjusted and um, they're mounted securely and not missing. Oh yeah, my horn is working properly. My air horn is working like it should. Doing my duck bucket thing, man. Let me find some more gauges over here. There we go. My wipers are working properly. Blades are in good condition. They're secure to the iron. Let's check out my fluid. Let's see if I get fluid. My fluid splays on the windshield. Oh, look at that, y'all. I'm doing my duck bucket thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're gonna turn them off. Turn them off. Let me see if I can get these duck buckets off. There we go. There we go. All right, let me see what else y'all want me to talk about in here. Shoot, let me look around. I'll find something to talk about. I'll find something to talk about. Shoot. What else in here I want to talk about? Oh, them duck buckets ain't off. Turn off, boy. Maybe it's high. Oh, that's high, low. That should be off. Turn off. Maybe you gotta hold it. turn it off or not but we're gonna find out there's my gear shift pattern right there you got reverse up top reverse then you got one two three four five you flick the lever up on here you see it you flick it in a up position and it'll take it in high range then you got six seven eight nine ten doing my dub bucket thing y'all here come my boys right here they get ready to get back in the truck so we're gonna go ahead and move we're gonna let them do their thing all right, y'all, C1, C Breeze, I'm 10-7 and gone.